All right, hello everyone. So um, something kind of special happened with me. Uh, for the past two days, I was able to work at a high school here in Kyoto. Now, usually I work as an elementary junior high teacher, um, or ALT in um, Kyoto City, but because of a specific situation, I got the opportunity to work in a high school. And I thought, why not make a video about what I had experienced, right? So, um... I wrote down a list of things I wanted to tell you guys about and then I just wanted to share like the actual activities and stuff that I did with my students. So first of all, it was both uh, good and uh, like maybe so-so. Specifically, it was good because I got to meet new students who are actually like, they, they talked in English fairly well, it was great. The other ALT staff, um, because in high schools, in Kyoto, there's more than one ALT per school because they're so big. The, this school in particular had about 700 students. Uh, so I got to work with them. And the staff was super friendly. The campus was really beautiful. The cafeteria food was amazing. So there's definitely really great things about it. Um, and the only thing that I was kind of disappointed on was the actual lessons that I did. So it was a brand new environment. I didn't know anything about the students or really like the lessons that I did, they were handed to me uh, by someone else. And um, the other ALTs explained it to me what had to be done. But um, for me, I have to, I don't know, it's, it's just how I am as a person. I have to do a lesson at least once to be super confident about it the next time. So that's something that I really admire about high school ALTs is that they're doing uh, basically new lessons almost every class and they're doing them really really well so I totally admire that about them anyways okay another thing is the students were actually quite fluent in English compared to the junior highs I go to um, so I was able to to hold like uh, I would call in-depth conversations so for example um, a girl had asked me why did you want to come to Japan and, and the fact that she was able to express like why and then she was able to understand why I wanted to come to Japan I told her um, the reasons that meant a lot to me so and quite a few students were like that they they would um, get pretty chatty and they would talk uh, quite well, more so than my elementary and junior high kids. Like, I love them to bits, but their English abilities aren't super, super high. Um, so that was an interesting thing. And what's interesting about this high school, I don't know if all high schools are like this, but it had seven classes per day. And that's a lot of classes. So it starts at 8.45 and then it goes until 4.05. Uh, so it's a long school day, and lunch is really only half an hour, I think, or 35 minutes, so it's not that long. Um, and what I noticed about this high school in particular is that the ALTs had a lot of power to make lessons, or, um, yeah, make plans for their lessons. So all the, the lesson plans and stuff that we got, they were made by the AL ALTs and approved by the homeroom teachers, or the... The English teachers and that's another thing is the high school had a whole bunch of teacher rooms all over the campus and the one the area that I was in the other ALTs were there too and the other English teachers so um, it looks like all the arts are in one building the way that the school was laid out which was really interesting okay another really cool thing about this school in particular is it has an area of the school called Hello Village and this was a newly renovated area where students could go to speak English, study English, talk to English speakers, there's special events there all the time, um, like it's a really cool place and the Kyoto City Board of Education uh, has recognized it as a legit English speaking place so it actually invites other students from other schools to come and and check it out and stuff uh, from what I've heard so it, it's super beautiful too like it's newly renovated it's really really nice um, and I'm if I get permission to share the video I took of it I'm definitely gonna share, uh, post that to YouTube and share it with you guys okay another thing is students are allowed to use their cell phones I believe in between classes definitely at lunchtime and after school 
Um, there's vending machines around that actually have pop and juice and, and milk and coffee and stuff. So there's vending machines and there's a, a cafeteria that has ramen, curry, uh, curry rice, udon, um, lunch specials that include like fish, uh, chi uh, chicken, uh, like it, it's uh, incredible. There's so much variety and it's really, really cheap too. It's really amazing. It was 440 yen for this huge lunch set that came with a plate of fish, a fried potato, boiled cabbage, a miso soup. A thing of rice, like it, it was incredible. It was really, really good. Um, okay, next I have here is the types of English classes. So the schedule thingy that I got shows that there's English conversation. So these classes I heard are a lot more interactive with students. Like the students get to get up and like move around and interact with each other and converse in English. And then there's also writing skills, and that is in particular writing. And then there's Communication English. I don't know what that is because I didn't have that class. But, yeah, those are the, the three that I, I can see on this sheet here. So it's, it's really interesting. Um, next is the... A lot of the students... Um, yeah, they seem super friendly and like they were ch chatty and talkative. And if they, they see you, they'll be like, oh, hello. Uh, some students will want to know like... Uh, what's your name? Where are you from? That kind of thing and um, Yeah, so they were they were pretty nice uh, Some of them are kind of like you can tell that they're troublemakers and jokesters <laughs> but It's that kind of diversity in the school that makes it really nice So there's there's a little bit of everything that I saw anyways in this school in particular So okay, the actual lessons that I I taught today the first one was about, um, okay, it's this one here. The first one was about rooms of a house and chores. So the actual lesson that I did was, okay, so we began with a two minute talk. This is their warm up. So the question was, what's your favorite room at home? And then the students talked about that. And then we said, okay, is there any volunteers that like to, you know, share? So then they did that. The next thing we have is ask students about the chores that they do at home. So this is like a review of the last class because the last time they did uh, chores. And um, okay, so they did that, I believe, in like small groups. And then the next one, oh yeah, the classes I taught, uh, one of them was about 16 students in the class, so it was quite small. And then the other one was about 38 students about, and there were four ALTs in that one class. So it was very, very great. Um, okay, anyway, sorry. So the next activity was Rooms of the House, which is an actual worksheet that was made by uh, one of the ALTs there. So this is what it looks like. They had to match the, the room with the number or the name. And then these are common expressions that uh, they would use in the house. So I would say these, they would repeat them. We'd go over them if they didn't understand anything. Um, so after the worksheet, there was uh, a pair work. So uh, we had, or we had students get up in pairs and then they had to make at least one chore per room. So for example, I uh, wash the dishes in the kitchen and I clean my car in the garage kind of thing. Um, so they did that. And then the last thing we did was a, a game and it, or a, a game activity. It's a charades game or a gesture game. So the, uh, myself or the other, the English teacher would write a chore on the board and then the students had to gesture it and then the uh, their group would have to figure out what that chore was. Um, so that was that was really great. And then the other lesson that I did um, was basically uh, being a customer and being a server. So here is the <laughs> basically it's the same as the other class so there is a warm-up two-minute discussion there's a review of the last class's grammar and then there was this activity where students had to take orders from their group and then collect the food items from the ALT I had these food cards so that was really fun and cool but anyways all in all that was my experience and I think it was 
super duper amazing and I admire ALTs now that work in high school because they have so much work to do and same with like elementary and junior high ALTs like all around everyone works super hard and it's wonderful so yeah that's what I wanted to share with you so thank you very much for watching bye